Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're gonna to talk about two different five-year journals. If you're not familiar with five-year journals, what they are is they give you a space to write a little something every day for five years. So you'll get to look at December 30th and you'll get to see what we were doing five years in a row right there. And so it's kind of a really cool thing to look back on. I have never completed a five-year journal. This year, 2018, is my first year and I journaled in the Leuchtturm some, some Lines a Day is the name of the Leuchtturm book. So Leuchtturm 1917, who makes many different bullet journal books from dot grid to line to blank. I have an entire Leuchtturm playlist if you wanna check that out. Some of their favorite books, to me, are there lined metallic editions? I use those a lot for journaling and scripture study. I also use one to keep track of channel stuff, things that span from year to year that I want to keep track of. So this is the Leuchtturm five-year journal. It can be bought on many sites. One of them is Amazon. Of course, you can buy it on the Leuchtturm site. Always check the price because sometimes the Amazon price is actually higher than the Leuchtturm site price. When I checked, the Amazon price was $26.95 for this book. This is a company called Unbound. I have reviewed their planner, and I will actually put that link down below in the description box, and I will put the links to both of these journals also. Unbound just came out with a five-year journal, and they sent it to me. I thought I might just show it on Instagram, but it's such an awesome five-year journal in my opinion. And I had several people ask me to compare it to the Leuchtturm that I am using. So I wanted to do this video for that purpose. So let's get into this. I already mentioned the Leuchtturm price is $26.95. Leuchtturm has 80 GSM paper. And I will talk more about my use of this too a little bit later in the video. So Leuchtturm has unlined paper. It's 80 GSM. If you know about Leuchtturm paper, then yes, you're going to have ghosting. But you get used to that so it's good quality paper for journaling and that type of purpose even though you will have ghosting through but once you write from both pages on there you really don't notice the ghosting the unbound five-year journal is a beautiful book it's just it's more beautiful in my opinion it has this linen cover it comes in gray and then this kind of oatmeal color i'm not sure if they call it that but it is more expensive, it's $45. And that's just because of what it's made out of and it's made by a smaller company. So let's get into just the basic page layout of both of these. Now, as I mentioned, I have been using this Leuchtturm five-year memory book this entire year. It's my first year to ever keep a five-year journal. And I am very excited about continuing this. So of course, I'm not gonna be switching books now even though I probably like the page aesthetic better of the Unbound, just that it's a white page and that you have lines because I tend to be a messy writer. But we'll, so we'll get into those differences. But right off, those are the big differences. The Leuchtturm page is a little bit bigger. The Leuchtturm paper is thinner. The Unbound paper is 100 GSM. So the Unbound paper is 100 GSM. The Leuchtturm paper is 80 GSM. That also makes for a thinner book, having thinner paper, as you can see if we hold these up. They both come with grow grain ribbon markers. The Leuchtturm comes with two. Personally, I've only needed one because you're only working on one day at a time, so I honestly have not used the other ribbon at all. So I just think one ribbon is, is okay in this book. I don't see a reason why you definitely need a second ribbon. Unbound comes with one grow grain ribbon. Then your Leuchtturm does come with their classic band that comes on all their bullet journal books to hold it together if you are going to be traveling with it. Mine now lives in my desk drawer up in my office and I pull it out there to journal every day. So I personally don't use my band and I just leave it hooked on the back here. The Leuchtturm also comes with a pocket right here, a nice accordion pocket and the classic Leuchtturm labels that come with every single one of their bullet journals. These labels can be put on the side of the book for when you are done, you know, and you want to archive them in a bookshelf or on the front 
to label the year and what was the journal or the Lloyd Sherm book about. Now I'm going to have people ask me, so I better share. Um, since I started this this year for the first year, I just, I like certain stamps and I thought it would be fun to just see what are my favorite stamps that I ended up buying from that certain year. And then each year I would add some stamps from each year. I'll probably have to go over onto the pocket or is there room in here? There's probably room. Yeah. To go right there. And I just thought it'd be fun to have at the end of my five year journal, like some stamps that I loved and see the progression of what different stamps came out different years. So I decided when using this book that I was mainly just going to write about daily events because you don't have that much room. And, you know, I mean, sometimes I would write, oh, it was a hard day because of this or that. But in general, in this book, I'm not getting into really deep emotions or things because it's a small space. And I just kind of want to see what we were doing, you know, each year on certain days. I also put my temperatures every day. I just thought I'd give everyone this little peek, high and low, and simply because I just, I'm always interested in that, and I thought I would love to see it as the years progress every year for five years. I think each year this journal will get more fun to keep because this next year I will get to go back and read on that day, you know, the one year before, and the next year I'll have two years before to read. I'm going to do black, blue, black, blue ink, just so it's easier to differentiate, you know, the years. And I didn't want to use a whole bunch of different colors because I prefer to stay in the black and blue realm and something really permanent and nice. So I'm going to do black, blue, black, blue, and I'm going to keep doing my temperatures. I mean, it's definitely something you have to keep up with, but it is not the hardest journaling I've ever done at all because it only takes about two minutes to write down what you did every day and the temperature. And I think it's going to be the most rewarding journal ever that I've ever kept. So far, I've enjoyed it the most because it is the most stress-free daily journal that I've ever kept. I've never kept a journal every single day that was this simple and that I think will actually bring me this much enjoyment in the end. I started it this year, and by the last year, that will be the year that my oldest is probably leaving home. So it will really be our last five years with him here. And so I think this journal will be a treasure to me. Let's dive in to really the differences in these two books if you're trying to choose. So your page real estate is a little bit smaller in the Unbound, and I will show you why. Just the size of the book. The Unbound book is the same height, but you have just a little lip where your Lloyd Sherm book is a little bit wider. So each page is a little bit wider. You have a little bit more page real estate to write on there. If you look right here, you will see the stark difference in page color. If you love white paper, you are going to want the Unbound book. And I tend to love white paper. I honestly already said this. I like the aesthetic look of this Unbound book a lot better. It's just more pleasing to the eye. It's beautiful and it has this white paper. You do have less writing room because they do use a bigger margin at the top to write your date. And also they give you lines. So you only are allotted that many lines. So some places back here in my Lloyd Sturm, I've written pretty tiny to fit in more per day because I just had a lot to say or a lot happen that day. And here you're only allotted a certain number of lines. So while that will help your journal look more neat over time, and I would really appreciate that. Just to keep in mind that, so there is less writing room per day here, which actually might appeal to some people. So they've left you the space to fill in the year, 20, whatever. And then if you want to write the day of the week, you would have to write that right there. Neither one of these journals leaves you a place to write the day of the week, but I like to write my day of the weekend. So I tend to put it right here, like an M for Monday, T for Tuesday. I abbreviate like that. And then I put the year, of course, after. So here you'd have to write an M or a T right there. And then we, of course, did talk about the page. This is nice 100 GSM paper. You are just going to not have much ghosting at all with this. And this is thinner 80 GSM paper, but it is archival paper. You can read about Lloyd Sturm paper online. If you've used Lloyd Sturm paper, then you know about that. Now this is a sample copy because they didn't have their copies in yet, but they do now. So Unbound said that this is going to, there's going to be a little bit more gold showing up. Now, not like 
a huge difference, they said, so don't expect your book to look hugely different. But your stamp might be a little bit deeper and gold might be a little bit more, but on purpose, it's supposed to be subtle. They didn't want the five years title to be big and bright on there. And the side of your book says unbound and then just has those lines. Looks Will look really nice on a shelf archived when you're all done with your five years in it. Like I said, it's a linen cover and they have it in two colors. The ribbon page marker is plenty long to be able to pull in and out of the book like you should be able to slide it all the way to the side. So they did a great job on that. Their book easily lays flat where you want to write in it. There's no problem. They have a great lay flat binding in there. You can see that you won't have any problem getting your book to lay flat while you are journaling all year long. No matter where you are in your book, it might just take a little massage and you're going to be able to do all your journal writing. And Lloyd's Germ has the same thing. They do not have any issues laying flat. My book has laid flat really well all year and I haven't had any problem with that at all. Your Leuchtturm is just, you know, your classic Leuchtturm cover. It has a stamp on the back. This journal comes in a couple colors. I can't remember them all, and in case they've changed them, I don't want to mention any on here. But this is just the black, and then they have stamped in there some lines a day and the five-year memory book. In the front of your Leuchtturm, I stuck a picture that I printed from my Polaroid zip camera. I love Mary Inglebright. And this was her one for the new year that I love. It just says, and now let us welcome the new year full of things that have never been. I've always loved that picture, just kind of how that's how I feel after Christmas. And I labeled it this, not to leave out my husband, but because, you know, he's one of my boys. So that is the front of your Lloyd's Charm. This is your nameplate page. You have a quote by Abe Lincoln. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. And then your book starts right off there. I honestly cannot believe we are almost there because I remember distinctly starting this book and I'm so excited to be in my second year of it. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I just had a huge response to the Unbound Planner. Like I said, I will link that video down in the description. And I myself was so impressed with their planner and the quality of it that when they came out with this five-year journal, I knew that I would love to share it with you guys if I could, and they did a great job with it, a stellar job. And I wanted to share it because like I said, a five-year journal has become actually my very favorite way that I have ever journaled. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will let you guys know how it goes on year two. If you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely check me out there at Amanda's Favorites. That's where I check in daily. That's also where I do all my giveaways and it's where I get to know you guys better. I actually started out this year, 2018, doing too many journals and I have a updates playlist where I give planning updates and journaling updates once a quarter. I don't know if I'm gonna do the journaling updates once a quarter in 2019, but I will always keep updated on Instagram. But right now, if you want to know what journaling I've done this year or see more about this book and how I've used it, I will link my last journaling update, which was quarter three, down below for you guys also in the description box. I would love to hear if you have kept up with a five-year journal before, and I would love to hear which five-year journal you used. So thanks for watching. Happy journaling, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.